to um, given by Argentina. When this landslide happened, uh, it actually took a couple of days for people to realize that anything had happened, especially in Lima. They all knew that there was an earthquake. They knew that the city of Huaraz, about an hour this way, was uh, damaged. But they didn't quite know what the state of Yungay was. When the landslide happened, it completely wiped out all telephone, any sort of communication. One of the first uh, groups to come out here after the landslide was uh, from Argentina, one of their military, the army or somebody. And this monument is in memory of them because when they came out here in their helicopter, um, the helicopter crashed and those people died as well. So for support, for after the world figured out what had happened a couple days later, um, about a bunch of rescue and aid came in. Um, people from Lima came up to help. Uh, but when you think of a landslide, so I said it was earth, you know, dirt, water, snow, ice. It was wet, but when it all came down, it kicked up a bunch of dust. So all of this was covered in uh, dust and you couldn't really see anything. Um, I'm going to explain it to you because you're all right here. A couple of people have asked if there were any survivors. When this happened, there happened to be a circus going on about 10, 15, 20 minutes that way outside of the city. And there were a handful of mothers, grandmothers, children, and they were all spared by it. The other area that people survived the landslide was, you can see over here through these trees, this like wedding cake looking thing. We're gonna walk over there. That is a cemetery. That is the original cemetery of the town of Yungai. And when all of this was happening, there happened to be some people over in the cemetery. Uh, when they saw the landslide happening, as fast as they could, about between 15 and 20 people managed to run up the top of the stairs to where that uh, Jesus statue is. And they were saved from the landslide because they didn't make it all the way up there. The cemetery originally had a couple more stories that were buried uh, with the landslide. But like I said, it didn't make it to the top. So, landslide happens. We have about 15, 20 people standing up there. Uh, and they pretty much have whatever they have on them right now. So think of what you have on you, and that's all you have to survive. You know, we're not dressed very warmly. We maybe have some water, maybe like one granola bar. Um, that's all they had. They didn't have granola bars, but you don't understand what I mean. <laughs> So they get up to the top, and like I said, it's all dusty here. Nobody really knew what had happened. They're up there for a couple of days. And we know how cold it gets here at night. This is all they had. Some of them started breaking into the graves to take clothes off the people that had passed away to stay warm. Once the international community found out about this, one of the things that the Argentinians did and others is they'd come in with helicopters and boxes of food. But they couldn't see anything and they weren't certain where people were, if there were any people. So they just flew around with these boxes and just dropped them in random spots. There was one that happened to be close enough to the cemetery that the people were able to get it. And inside it had things like canned peaches and other food items like that, maybe some blankets, I'm not certain. But I do know canned peaches because I do know somebody that was one of those 15 to 20 people, and to this day, does not eat canned peaches, does not even look at them, doesn't do anything with them. So there were a handful of people that did survive, and that's where they were when they did it. Um, while we're all here, does anybody have any questions? Clarification, something I didn't cover? So how long ago did this happen? Uh, 1970. 45 years ago? No. Yep, yeah, 45. 45 in 11 days. Yep, exactly. Uh, so you see them, usually they're doing more, but you see all this like dirt behind you that looks like it's been recently tilled and flowers and landscaping. Um, in 11 days, there will be, how many people come? A couple thousand?
couple of thousand people will come on the anniversary of the landslide. Um, that table, that cement table we passed up there before the church, uh, they'll have a full public mass uh, service for the people that died. And Berenice is saying that the families, when they come, they leave food uh, for their lost relatives. So you saw all of those, see like this white little thing over here and over there with the gate? Those are those memorials I was talking about that families erect for wherever mm. the house is or whatever might have been. So who came to settle here after after everything happened? Because there's still people now, they've rebuilt the town and everything. Like, did they just come from all that over? That's a good question, because you'll see on Friday that there are some towns up further mm -hmm. that, do you know? So the people that were, that survived, rebuilt in Yungay over here. And I suppose once they did that, or other villages came and moved in. The majority of the orphans that were left over went to Lima. Okay? So, follow me.